What is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. We are back talking about more rumors and speculation coming out of the LEC. Uh, so we know for sure that Misfits are selling uh, perhaps a, a portion of their LEC slot. It sounds like uh, maybe they're going to be selling like 80% to Team Heretics, who's now going to be the majority owner of that LEC slot. But now people are wondering what happens next. Uh, who is the next team to sell in the LEC or the LCS? Who's going to be the next team coming in? When is it going to happen? All of these unanswered questions, but now the floodgates are open. Now more stuff can start happening. You know, it, every offseason we talk about the dominoes, and it's like before this can happen, we need to see if this, this, and this is going to happen. But once one thing happens, then we have some answers, and stuff will really start happening. So uh, I do think over the next couple of weeks and next couple of months, stuff is really going to heat up. But today we're going to be talking about a team that a lot of people have had on their radar of potentially looking to jump ship, to sell off, to get out of the LEC. And that is Astralis. So with that being said, let's get right into this. This tweet uh, came across my timeline from Jackson, I believe. Jackson MVP is like a gaming website. Uh, Esports person works for them. That's how I know about them mainly. But uh, they tweet out this. They said, rumor, Heretics has snapped up a bargain. According to sources, Astralis is asking for $50 million. So... This would mean a couple things. One, this would mean that, yes, Astralis is going to sell or is looking to sell or is considering to sell. You know, one of those three things. Um, but it also means that they're asking for more than Team Heretics paid for the Misfit slot. Again, uh, we can get into the article and stuff and, and start looking at some of the numbers. But here's our article. Misfits Gaming reportedly sold 80% of the LEC spot for 34 to 36 million. Um, you know, so if we look at that number, um, and you know, you take the, I think people were saying it was valued around like 45. Yeah, I mean, if the slot is valued at 45 million dollars, then an 80%. You know, paying 36 million is going to get you 80% of 45. If you value it uh, like 43, 42 million, then 80% is going to go for 34. So somewhere in that range. So if Astralis is looking for 50 million, again, that is more than this Misfit slot. And that's kind of interesting. Misfits sale of their LEC uh, spot to Team Heretics became official yesterday, but the terms of the deal were not officially disclosed. However, according to Blix.gg's Alejandro Gomez, Heretics allegedly paid between 34 and 36 million for 80%. So again, that is not confirmed. That is not 100% anything like that just yet, but that is what Alejandro is saying. Obviously, Alejandro has been a, a pretty good good, pretty reliable source over, um, you know, the past year or so. He's not 100%, nobody's 100%, but he does a pretty damn good job. We'll see if the real numbers ever come out, but they might never. Yeah, I don't know. It's always a really weird situation. Um, Blix's report implies, uh, but does not directly state that Misfits may have valued their slot at $45 million, higher than Schalke's uh, price of, what, like $32 million last year, um, which is kind of crazy, because again, if Schalke sold for $32 and then Misfits is selling for 45, and then Astralis is trying to sell for 50, that might seem a little crazy after just a year, but you do have to remember, Schalke was in a position where they had to sell their slot. Um, people knew that they needed to sell their slot, so that took a lot of leverage away from Schalke. The only leverage Schalke had was trying to leverage other teams against each other, like, oh, if you don't pay this much, somebody else is gonna, but if everybody is like, Okay, well, we're not going to pay that much. What are you guys going to do? You guys need to sell. Your organization is in financial uh, ruin. You know, you're, you're, we know your owners are making you sell, so we're not going to overpay for this because if we just wait, you're going to have to meet our demands. So Schalke had a lot less leverage than teams like Misfits and Astralis have because um, Misfits and Astralis, they can just say, hey, we're looking for this amount of money. If you guys don't give it to us, that's fine. We'll just stay in the LEC maybe another year, maybe another two years. Maybe we'll just sell it to somebody else instead. Maybe we'll stay in the LEC. Who knows? So that is why they can, uh, you know, pay or uh, demand a little bit higher of a price. But still, I mean, these numbers are starting to get pretty crazy when we're talking about 45 million, 50 million, whatever. But one thing that I do think is interesting from this whole thing is that if uh, Misfits slot was lower, and Astralis is looking to sell, and they're asking for more, and we heard that uh, Ibai said, hey, we never talked to Misfits, we weren't trying to buy Misfits slot, we were not in that conversation, and that slot was for less, why would they then go to Astralis and pay more? Now, one reason could be that, hey, we weren't interested in the 80% of the Misfits slot, if we're trying to buy a slot, we want 100%, 
uh, and maybe Astralis can charge a little bit more since they're giving up full ownership or whatever. Um, or maybe it means Koi is not coming to the LEC. And then the same situation for the LEC. I didn't hear this and I don't speak French, but somebody told me that Kometo said in their stream yesterday that he also was not in conversations or negotiations with Misfits for their LEC slot. Which the same thing there. If they weren't in negotiations, if they weren't in talks with Misfits for a cheaper price for 80%, why would they not be in conversation or why would they be in conversation for Astralis for a higher price? I don't know. You would think that there were some teams that maybe got, uh, you know, maybe some teams that didn't win the, the Misfits bid, maybe would go for the Astralis one. But again, same thing. If you got bid out of the uh, Misfits slot at the 45 valuation for less money, you're only putting up 34, 35, 36 million. How are you then going to justify spending 15 million more on the Astralis slot? I don't know. To me, it just seems a little bit weird. It does seem a little bit crazy. Um, here, I know some people have asked this also, what does selling 80% mean? Misfits have sold 80% of their LEC spot, uh, reflecting that they're optimistic about the LEC's prospects. Indeed, a spot that they have bought at roughly 10 million has yielded them $26 million return on investment, although that figure grows lower when counting operational costs. Uh, as the LEC spot value may increase further over time, Misfits would have the opportunity to sell that remaining 20% stake at a higher value if the values go up. Whether Team Heretics eventually acquires the remaining LEC stake or whether a potential buyer wishes to buy the entire stake, Misfits will be due for another hefty payout. Uh, meanwhile, Team Heretics gets to pay less than the reported 40 to 50 million that uh, Astralis is asking for. Um, a huge short term win for the organization. So they're able to get in to the LEC for cheaper costs. Misfits is still able to hang on to some equity in case the prices go up in the future, all that stuff. Um, but yeah. And then we had this tweet from uh, Esports Maniacos. We've covered this in a video before. This is from about a month ago. They had said that Astralis was looking to sell. But they had said that Astralis didn't want a merger, that they're looking to sell their whole slot. You know, they're not looking to do an 80% type deal. They're not looking to bring in another brand, absorb them, nothing like that. They're looking to get it out of their hands. He also said Koi and most teams, is he talking about Giants, K Corp, one of these other teams? I don't know. Do not have liquidity, which means, you know, they're, they're not able to get the money to actually buy uh, one of these slots. Yeah, they might have big brand value. You know, you could say K Corp, oh, as a brand is worth 20, 50, 100 million, but that doesn't mean they have... $50 million to spend on an LEC slot. Same thing with Koi, same thing with a lot of other these teams. And they had also said then that, hey, the price would be around 40 and 50 million. Now, Wulu responded to this. Uh, I don't know which one he responded to. Wulu replied to one of these. Um, I had it pulled up somewhere, but pretty much Wulu responded to this um, and said... Uh, that pretty much, uh, he said in French, like, it, it's bullshit, or this guy's not speaking the truth, or something like that, so then people had replied to this Jax on MVP post, and said, oh, hey, Wulu, um, you said it was wrong, and Wulu says, uh, you know, hey, they're taking the same tweet from a month ago, lol, and I didn't say that part of the tweet was wrong, so again, Wulu replied to this tweet, and said that part of this tweet was wrong. Again, he says, uh, NPK. I, I, I think somebody told me it's French slang for like, that's bullshit or uh, it, it's a lie or something. You know, he says NPK. I, I don't know what NPK means. Somebody tell me what it means, whatever. Um, but there's three parts of this tweet and Wulu's saying that at least one of these parts aren't correct. So he is saying that the 40 to 50 million for the Astralis slot is correct, which also means that Astralis is looking to sell or maybe has wanted to sell or whatever. So that's interesting. But which of these parts isn't true? There's only two other choices. One, Wulu is saying that Astralis might want a merger. Astralis might be willing to sell part of it and keep part of it, which would lower the overall price tag. Or he is saying that the fact that Koi and most other teams don't have the liquidity or the funds to buy a slot might not be true. Now, I don't know which one of those is more likely. I, I'm not exactly sure. But again, Wulu believes that one of those, or at least it sounds like Wulu believes one of those two things is not true. So if you're a K-Corp fan or a Koi fan, and it's not true that you guys don't have the money and you actually do have the money, that's awesome. But even if you're a Koi or K-Corp fan and the Astralis being open to a merger is, is the truth, then that's great also because that means you could potentially get 75, 70, 80% stake in an LEC team, which means you're going to have majority ownership. You're going to have full control. You're going to be able to get in the LEC for a cheaper price tag, which might even end up being the smartest way to do something like this. Like, I really think Heretics got a great deal. And, you know, that's what they're saying in this article. You know, hey, Heretics, you guys got a steal here. This was a very, very good deal. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The latest is that, hey, Astralis might be looking to sell. Astralis might be on the market. And if somebody else is going to be leaving the LEC, at this point, the best bet is. Astralis. Now, 
Is somebody going to come match their valuation of 40 to 50 million, especially after, um, you know, somebody just got uh, less than 50 million? You know, somebody just sold, obviously, if it's 40 to 50, that's in the same ballpark. But if they're asking 50 and Misfits just sold at around 45, obviously, they might have to come down. Why would people pay up? I don't know. But it does seem like Astralis is at least in talks to potentially be selling their LEC slot. We don't know to who, and we don't know if it's going to happen. We don't know when it's going to happen. But definitely watch out for this because there could be some more big moves coming very, very soon. And then that's not even considering the LCS teams, which we're also hearing some crazy stuff about the LCS that we'll definitely talk about soon. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I'd appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the situation, what you guys think is going to happen, anything like that. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to up to date and all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.